فاسألوا أهل الذكر إن كنتم لا تعلمون Why are there so many sects even though the teachings of the Prophet cannot be changed? This is uh, not only for Islam, for all the religions before us. And this is because Shaitan's way uh, is to create divisions, okay, and to create uh, differences and to lead people into uh, differing and fighting amongst each other. This is one of the ways of Shaitan. Just like why do pe people commit fornication? Why do people do, uh, yeah, and do this or that of sins? Yeah. It's a great sin. There is a slight difference amongst the four schools of thought. Why and how did these differences occur? This is the, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Sunnat Allah wa lan tajida li sunnat Allah tabdeela. This is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala willed since ever. That people will differ. Okay. People will differ. And the differences amongst the madhabs uh, in, the, in the time of those four imams, there were no great differences. No differences in aqeedah, in fundamentals of al-sunnah. The differences were in minor issues regarding salat regarding all other uh, worships with uh, regarding some of the dealings selling and buying and things like this so this was uh, yani because of the ishtihad of those scholars uh, a true hadith might might have reached this scholar in an authentic way but the other scholar did not receive it in an authentic way so he gave, he put his opinion because the hadith was not true to him, okay? Uh, or the hadith has reached him in an authentic way, but his understanding of the hadith was different than the other scholar. So he made his decision based on his understanding. And the other scholar had his own understanding. So this is no problem, يعني, as long as uh, they don't reject the sunnah outright as long as uh, they don't uh, reject the truth outright يعني, deliberately it's no problem يعني. we can live with that the companions have differed even in the time of the Prophet وسلم, when he was alive and amongst them he told them do not make asr prayer except when you reach the tribe of Bani Quraidha, the Jewish tribe of Bani Quraidha. Okay. So, when Asr time came on the way, uh, some of the companions said, if we uh, delay Asr, we will not reach by Maghrib there. So, we, how could we delay it until it passes the time of Asr altogether? So, let's make it and they made it. And some companions said, the Prophet ordered us not to uh, pray Asr until we reach there. So they went by that opinion. And when they came to the Prophet ﷺ, they told him this. They said this happened and we discussed it and th some of us did this and some of us did that. And what did the Prophet ﷺ do? He did not blame this side or that side. They are not blameworthy. Both of them were concerned to follow the truth and follow the sunnah. Okay? But it was a different of understanding of the hadith. So it's not blameworthy. Okay? So these issues uh, in which every side tries his best to follow the sunnah uh, th those, those differences are not uh, blameworthy. Also, some scholars said that some kind, sometimes those differences are mercy for this nation. Okay? Are mercy. Differences 
are not always mercy. And in general, being different is not good. But sometimes it can be a mercy. There is more than one choice. You see, some kind of flexibility and choice. Okay. Now, 